Hello friends, so I have another video showing you how to set up the English version of the Evolution API community node in NA10, okay? So the first thing we need to do is you, you have to set up NA10. There's a video in the description for that. So if we go to NP, NPM, we get this we get this community node because it, it's it's uh, been translated to English. All we need to do is copy this. And there's so many ways to do this. You can do this in your Toolify instance. You can do this in VS Code. You can do this in, you know, Putty, just any sort of SSH terminal, okay? So... What we want to do is we want to go to our installation of NA10. We need to go to terminal, select container like this. This is probably the easiest, quickest way because you're going to be uh, setting this up anyway. Uh, I think we need to go to dot NA10 CD dot NA10. Uh, I'm just showing you sort of each file to go through. So we need to go to nodes and then it'll be node modules, but I'll also show you CD uh, node and un node underscore modules. So when you're in the node modules file, you'll, it'll be this URL. Okay. Uh, all you have to do all you have to do is run this command. Uh, I'll all, I'll just quickly double check. You need to be yeah, yeah, yeah. You just need to be in. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You just need to be in uh, nodes. So you can follow the guide here. Oh, sorry. Uh, the guide here for it for installing community nodes manually through the command line. But this is just a quick guide. Okay, so let's say we copy that. So we're in nodes. We copy this from the English translation. Okay, and then we paste it here. I've already done it, so it's just gonna install it. So you'll see. <coughs> Mm-hmm. You manage it. Okay. Is that fine? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Uh you can also show you how to uninstall them too. Then you'll go back here. And you'll need to restart your instance of NA10. So just press restart. Mine is already installed, so no real reason for me to do the restart, but I'll just show you as if you don't have it. Okay. So the next thing is everything is set up, you know, you have your, your chat woods. Oh, that was the last video. <laughs> okay. So, uh, ever, let's say add, oh, refresh. <clears throat> so then you'll have it here, evolution API, and you'll be able to use it. So you could do on a webhook call. You could make a webhook name and if you wanted to start, you know, receiving messages, let's say, uh, we'll say anything, uh, testing. Okay. Simply copy this URL here and go to your evolution manager, uh, instance, go to webhook, put the URL in here, enable it. And then you want to click message upset. Uh, save. And then 
we will press test. Wait, oh. Uh, oh, yes, uh, you should connect it to your instance with the new API key. I forgot that step. So copy a URL here. Okay. Go to your environment variables with your API key for your instance of evolution API. API key, copy this, never show anyone. Oh, that is the wrong, wait, is it? Oh, no, that's fine, that's fine. That's that, that's the right one. Oh, paste it here. Yep, successful, nice. Instance name, this is just a test. So we go back to our dashboard. The instance name is testing underscore phone instance API key. Uh, I'll just create an instance, <laughs> never mind. Uh, I'll show you uh, a message, like send a text message. So recipient number is, let's see. <laughs> so this one, this to be the number. There we go. So our uh, message is hello there. Uh, I don't even know why I did that. I mean, it's just to show how to send texts. So you'll kind of see, you know, it'll send a message to the number. Ah, yes, because we do not have a on trigger manual. Uh, manual trigger. Let's add a manual trigger, and then we test it, and you'll see. Yep, it sent that. It sent that message, and then you'll see. This is the the information about it. You know the number we sent to. You know the message, the status of the message, and you can get the 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 status back that so now we're going to test the webhook okay so now we will have this listen for test events <clears throat> so let's send a message to that line this is after you've set up the uh, webhook event uh, also I believe you have to uh, you have to have the, what is it? The type of webhook as a post request. Okay. So, so you have that as post and you see, so you copy that and you'll get all the information about the uh, person and the message. So you'll see, we got a message here, a conversation. Hello. Uh, I like to copy it from yeah payload message upset and then you can you can just you know you know integrate this into however which way you want you know if you want to filter it you know um that sort of thing if you want to hook it up to you know passing information. Let's say we set field, let's say a uh, user message. We'll do a nice little underscore. Uh, user message. We just simply drop this conversation in here. Test. And then we have the user message saved. So let's test that again. Uh, you know, get another message. Um, I want apples. Listen for test event and then send. You will see that this passed it through and it said, I want apples or oh, <laughs> please. So that's just like the quick showcase of how to integrate it into an A10. And if you enjoy the video, please, uh, oh, yeah, also, please drop a comment, subscribe. Love you. Amazing. See you in the next video.